We're going to start with the ACC. It does not appear that teams are leaving the ACC as far as expansion goes. And I wanted to go ahead and bring this up at chapelboro.com, uh, your daily local news source from 97.9 The Hill. And it's an article that uh, basically talks about Kevin Guskwix. And I hope that I said that right. I probably did not. But, uh, but he is, of course, uh, over at North Carolina. And he had some interesting, interesting things to say. He is the chancellor there. Uh, he said, people know the ACC is somewhat hamstrung and in perhaps a weakened position because of the media contract that we're being held to until 2036. So that's what's leading to a lot of speculation. I would say that I'm committed. Athletic Director Bubba Cunningham is committed to maintaining a strong ACC presence, and they are doing everything possible to improve our contract so that we can remain competitive with schools that are in these other conferences. Now, there's the one thing that I said there is we are doing everything possible to improve our contract. Now, that does not mean that they are going to leave. It does say in here that the ACC's grant of rights means that North Carolina and other conference members' TV revenue through ESPN is the property of the conference all the way through 2036, regardless of whether the school remains in the ACC. So any departing school could potentially forfeit the opportunity to have its home games broadcast on national television in that time span. It says also, which I did not know this, and this may be public knowledge. I have not seen it anywhere. It says add in a reported $120 million exit fee, and the conference is going to make it as painful as possible for any institution to leave. Charter members like North Carolina, Clemson, or Virginia bolting for greener pastures would almost surely signal the end of the nearly 70-year-old league, and in a college athletics world driven by money, of course, the ACC has fallen behind. Nevertheless, he said he remains hopeful that North Carolina and the league could work out a new deal. And this is what he said here. Uh, I'm optimistic we're going to get a better contract. I think ESPN recognizes the importance of a strong ACC, which it really is. It's an incredibly strong conference. One thing that I'm proud of as chancellor of North Carolina Chapel Hill is the ACC is well-known in excellence in academics and athletics. I think we've proven that, and I think this is the right fit for Carolina. Now, the interesting part there, obviously, is I'm optimistic we're going to get a better contract. What, what does ESPN need to give them a better contract for? Now, the only thing that I could think of is the idea that, one, you've already got them locked in, and it's pretty airtight. If you are wanting to leave, it's going to be a ridiculous legal battle, right? Just absolutely ridiculous. So I don't know that there's any way for anybody in the ACC to leave anyway. But on top of that, if you are ESPN and you've already got that bunch locked in and they're not happy with their contracts. Maybe you don't do what CBS did with the SEC, which is guarantee that SEC is never going to sign with CBS again because after the SEC added Texas A&M and Missouri, CBS was not willing to redrew or redraw up their contract, redo the contract. So CBS continued to get the CBS game of the week, the SEC game of the week, all the way up until next year, I believe, they got it for $55 million a year. Now, part of that is because they signed it nearly two decades ago. I mean, it was a long, long time ago. But that, you show a little bit of good faith and show the conference, if you want those programs to remain under your, uh, under your supervision, we'll say. I guess that might be an easy way to say it. But if you want to make sure that they're all happy, then you continue to redraw the contract and maybe you keep them through 2036, but you continue as everything escalates, maybe pay them a little more, right? Because obviously I think they could be worth more on the open market once you get to a certain point. You know, I, there's ways that you can go about this and actually uh, show signs of good faith if you are ESPN with the ACC so that those schools have no reason to go over and flirt with the Big Ten. Because there are schools in the ACC that would rather join the Big Ten as opposed to the SEC. If you had schools that only wanted to go to the SEC, why would you go, or why would you allow them to leave the ESPN platform to go join another conference that is already locked in at the ESPN platform and you would just have to pay them more? Right? It, you got to figure out 
what's the best way to keep this on a bargain and yet make these teams happy, make these schools happy? So the North Carolina situation was fairly interesting. North Carolina could do Big Ten or the SEC, and the fact that the chancellor came out and just flat out said, I, you know, I've got all the faith that we're going to get a better contract. I mean, your contract's locked in. It's locked in until 2036. So my question here is, is ESPN up to something? Like, what are they thinking as far as continuing that grant of rights but making it a little bit sweeter for those ACC teams? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.